Kelly Stafford is a believer. On the Thursday, October 31st, episode of her The Morning After podcast, she and co-host Hank Winchester discussed whether they think ghosts are real in honor of the spooky holiday. Yes, I do. They're everywhere, the mother of four, 35, insisted. You have to believe in some eternal being, right? Matthew Stafford's wife added that their personal chef thinks there's a ghost in the house they're currently living in, which once belonged to Jennifer Lopez. When Hank quipped that it could be the singer's spirit that's invading the Los Angeles property, she replied, yes, the ghost of J-Lo? Fantastic. According to a report, Kelly and the NFL star, 36, bought the 15,000-square-foot home in 2023 for a whopping $28.3 million. Lopez, 55, had purchased the pad in 2010 and sold it in 2017. Meanwhile, the waiting for tonight crooner is actually in the middle of looking for a new home herself, as she and estranged husband Ben Affleck put the mansion they shared on the market for a whopping $68 million over the summer. The exes bought the home in 2022 for around $60 million, though sources claimed both of the stars weren't actually huge fans of the massive abode to begin with. The $68 million mansion was Ben's idea and a major compromise for her. She agreed to it because of its spacious layout, accommodating both their families, a gym and a pickleball court, office space, plus it has two private entrances, the source told a news outlet of the crib, referring to the three kids the actor, 52, shares with ex-wife Jennifer Garner, and the twins the Marry Me vocalist has with ex-husband Mark Anthony. However, a second insider countered that buying the Lux pad wasn't all Ben's idea. His life's in Brentwood. His kids live there, the insider pointed out. It was such a pain and time consuming for Ben to navigate traffic from their house. He never liked it. In the end, the dad of three found a new place in California's Pacific Palisades. Though his estranged wife hadn't come across the perfect new home yet, she found it upsetting to stay in the mansion once they parted ways. She and Ben bought the house for the whole family. It's way too big for her and filled with too many memories as well, a source explained. The mom of two filed for divorce in August after two years of marriage. In court documents, she listed their date of separation at April 26, 